Just taking a look at the EIA inventory report, there's a little tip here of how to trade it in light of the private inventory data. Now, don't forget the private inventory data comes out the night before 9.30 UK time, and this sets expectations for the actual report. So don't make the mistake of coming along to the inventory report, the official EIA data, and just looking at the forecast expectations. You can see here, for instance, the draw was over 10.5 million, which should have been a big boost for oil. And yet, if you look at oil markets after the event, you see they've actually sold off. Now, that's not a surprise when you consider what the private inventory data was. Look, it was a, a draw of 11.5 million. So actually, that's somewhat of a disappointment in light of the private inventory data. So what you want to do is when you're trading this, I, the ideal trading opportunity is when the contradict the private data so that's what you want to look for so if that was a huge so that was a huge build say that private inventory data showed a build of like 5 million and then the official data showed a draw of 10 million then you would have expected oil markets to surge massively high why because the official data contradicts the private data so that's just a, a little tip what you're looking for there is a contradiction to give the best tradable opportunity. All we've had here is a confirmation of a big draw. And because the markets had, you know, numbers, a number of hours to digest that information, we're seeing a sort of buy the rumor, sell the fact response as oil markets are saying, mm, there's nothing surprising here with the official data. Just a little tip, wanted to underscore that in light of recent data.